Everyone, I'm back again. I'm back again. Lady Bower Reservoir and Derwent Village. I hope you're not bored of seeing this place yet because I'm certainly not. And I'll only come back if there's anything more to show you. It's revealed itself since the previous time I'd been. I'm recording this exactly seven days after part three went on my YouTube channel. There's not a lot extra to show you, but I was in the area and I thought I'd come and take a look. And there is a few bits to point out, which are interesting enough. So it's going to be a shorter video, a bit of an update, shall I say. But first of all, I'm going to turn you and look at something else that's showing itself. So behind me was Derwent Church. Derwent Hall is opposite me. And if you remember, if you've watched part three, you'd have seen where I believed there was an old bridge appearing from where the stream comes down from the hills in the valley. And it's revealed itself just a little bit more. Look at that. Now this is probably as close as I'm going to be able to get. I'll slide over a little bit more. Apologies for the wind, it always seems to be windier at the moment. There's an archway, look. You can clearly see there's an archway where the stream always flowed underneath. And it still does, it's just bubbling under, coming from up there where it meanders through the countryside and the valley, and all the way from up there. And the stonework is absolutely visible all the way across. When I came last time, Although I showed it you from the other side, you couldn't get here last time where I'm squatted now. So that is that is beautiful. You can clearly see that it's just silted up and mudded up, but that would have been a lot deeper. And you can see the way it goes. Now something else has revealed itself, and I don't know what it is. You've got the valve house there, look, the pump house, which looks a little bit drier as well. So whether I get over there again, and we might get a bit closer, I don't know. But where the stream comes down, you can see where the trees used to be aligning along the stream into the River Derwent. There's something there. It's a pile of ruins right in the centre of shot just there. Right there. Might be able to pick up on what it is on the maps a little bit later on. Now also, I mentioned about the school in part three. And there was those two gateposts right next to where I believe that was in the graveyard. That was, that was just there. Look, there's the church just there can't really get close enough without sinking but there's those two posts just there but there's a third one appearing on the right hand side look another one i wish i could get you closer if i go over here might be able to get a different angle of it without sinking yeah so one two three and it's a lot shorter so it's either a post that's fell over or collapsed at some point or it was something completely different altogether. And this little bit here was pretty much underwater last time too. There was just the rubble and the stones appearing, but you can see there is quite a concrete or tarmac foundation just there that it was built on. Now a little bit more of the land of Derwent Hall Gardens has appeared as well. So I'm gonna have a wander over there and see if I can show you anything different to what you saw last time. Look how close I've managed to get to these gateposts. Well, the, you know, there's the two there we saw in the first video and that third stump of one, he's just there, look, just popping. I've had to basically clamber across all of this. I'm really at water's edge, that's how close I am, look. And they're just there. If this drops a similar amount again in another week, I think potentially you could be actually stood next to them because the water was more up to this rubble just here when I come uh, seven days ago. But we're right up at them, look. Isn't that brilliant? You can even see the valve pump house finger bob over there. And that's up there with that little arch bridges that we've just been looking at. I'm so pleased I've come back today. I hope you're enjoying this. So what I've got up there is the former church, the graveyard, potentially the school. This could have been the school ruins. Look at the size of this. That's huge, isn't it? Great big lump of concrete, or it's stone. It's stone, ignore that, it's not concrete, it's stone. And the demolished remains of another small building there of some sort. Also, more stone here from destroyed buildings. 
and a little line going up there too and an outer wall fence as well we really are discovering more this time on our fourth trip back to Derwin Valley and the Lady Bar Reservoir something else I never pointed out on previous visits was this is a brick formation look like a square rectangular it's even got some HBO stamped into that they make TV programs don't they HBO um, yeah so there's that uh, bridge we saw in part one with the stream coming down towards beyond the church so this brick formation has also got a manhole cover which has appeared I can't really make out who manufactured it but it does say Sheffield on there look so it's a local manhole so you've got to imagine there must be some form of drains under there which potentially emptied into this little stream and there it is on the opposite side look if you could just make out right at the tip of my finger there is in fact a drain an exit drain coming out from where that underground sewage or pipeline deposited into this little stream We can get ourselves out here look all the way to what would have been the large expanse of these gardens but this is as far as i'm going to get because a lot of it's washed away and i don't want wet feet but look how close we can actually get to the former pump house or valve house over there so the main derwin hall was behind us all the way along and this is that fence post at the very end of that wall which stretched all the way across the gardens and you might remember when i came here again only seven days ago yeah this side was pretty much as it is but all this there was water here and i came down here to this point i'll put a picture on to show you what it was like and i came down to this point and i walked a little way down there but i could only go so far so today i can actually carry that on i'm just gonna put my bag down a moment and walk back all the way over because all this was water you see where some animals have been through there probably a dog excitedly ran across and came out i picked that up last time as well if you remember that was in water and it's actually just one of those plastic tree protectors that protects the trunks but you couldn't get across this not a chance but the water has receded that much that you can even see the outer edge of the garden just there on that wall and all the old plants look you see those stumps of brown i believe i've got a picture somewhere that shows those bushes coming out of the ground in this very garden i'm going to jump over carefully if i can if these stones will allow me to oh yeah it's a bit bouncy but we've done it we're across so i just made my way across there look, and i'm going to continue on along the edge of the hall to a side that we never got to last time So we made it around the edge of the upper gardens where all the bushes and that stone wall went all the way down there and i've come to this outer section which is next to the river 
a nice bit of stone foundation, look, great big chunks of the stuff. And the river, the river bed is just over there. It's so very close. And there's evidence here, look, of an old room below there. If you can just get the camera in there, you might be able to see bars. So there's a little snapshot of the land, how it lies below the hall. Last time I was here, I showed you the cellar and you got the archway just there. The water's dropped a little bit more because I don't know if you can make out to the left. I'll line it up a little bit when I put this together. I'm going to poke the camera down a bit more. Here you go, look at that. There's archways on both sides going in the opposite direction, like a horizontal way. So that's revealed just a little bit more to us, hasn't it? <laughs> 